Hi everyone, we are Go API and we are very excited to make this tutorial to show you how you can get started with Midjourney API. Before we get started, full disclosure, this is not an official API by Midjourney. Our team is a group of Midjourney enthusiasts. We are very passionate about Midjourney and we thought that this little neat API could help a lot of people out there. And that's why we built this to be incorporated into your existing workflow. To get started, go to our website, goapi.ai, and as you can see, we offer Midjourney API and other APIs like GPT, Stable Diffusion, and more. But for today, we will focus on Midjourney. So let's click on the Midjourney button, and in this page, we can click on Documentation, which will lead up to the latest version of our Midjourney API. As you can see here, this is the list of endpoints that we offer, and here are different processing modes. We have Relax, Fast, and turbo mode, which correspond to their mid-journey equivalents. And here is a sample workflow explanation. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we are just going to use the Imagine endpoint and perform a successful fetch on the task submitted. All right, so now we can click on pricing plan. You can see the pricing information we have for mid-journey API and also our other AI APIs. You can see here for our mid-journey API, each Imagine call will vary in cost depending on the process mode used. So if you do the calculation, you'll find that our pricing is actually quite attractive. Now let's get started. First, you can sign up for our dashboard using GitHub, which gives you free credits to try out our service, as you can see here. We have a referral program too, so if you like our service, share it with your friends and you will both receive more free credits. You can find out more information regarding this in our referral blog. Now let's go to my API keys and copy this key. Please remember to store this key somewhere safe. Next, let's head to Postman. So we can just Google Postman and you can see it's an API platform for developers. And now we just click New HTTP. Now we go back to the documentation, go to Imagine and copy the endpoint here. Here you can see it's a post request, so let's go back to Postman, change the request to post and paste the endpoint here. Moving on, if we go back to the docs, it says under header, we have to key in the API key. So back in Postman, let's click header and type in X API key. And in this area, we will put in our API key, which we have gotten from our dashboard. Back to the documentation, we go down to example request, and here we have Python, Node, and curl code for you. Copy this, go to Postman and click on body, and now under raw, paste the code here. Get rid of the webhook endpoint and the aspect ratio, and now just key in your prompt here and press send. Here it returns a successful status, and over here, we have our task ID. Now we create a new post request for the fetch endpoint. So similar to imagine, we copy the post request from fetch, change this to post, paste the request here. You can see we just need the body for the fetch endpoint. So we head down to the example request, copy the code and click on body, raw, and paste it here. Now we change this task ID and replace it with the one we have obtained from the previous imagine endpoint and send. And it's finished. So let's scroll down and you can see there are two URLs for the images. Both URLs are the same, so you can use either one. So we copy a URL, paste it into a new tab, and you should be able to see your images. And that's how you get started with Midjourney API in just a few minutes with Go API. Thank you guys for watching. Do give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more API related content. Have a great day.